friends, today is going to be another viewer question. Today's video comes from Lucy Good and Lucy asks, how do you balance writing and everything else in your life? Sometimes it feels like writing gets kicked out because of everything else. I 120% agree to this, Lucy. I am not great at balancing my hobbies. I would like to be better at it, but definitely not great. I have done pretty well at balancing reading and YouTube, but outside of that, not as great. I will say that I did learn last year during November's NaNoWriMo, um, not a practice that I've continued to keep, but something that I did learn was that if I wrote on weeknights during live streams and then did the bulk of my reading and YouTube stuff on weekends, that was kind of what worked best for me. Did I continue doing that? Absolutely not. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. It's probably gonna have to be something that I institute next year uh, because next year things are gonna change. So well, the answer to your question is that I don't. But I think the best way to find what works for you in particular would be to try a few different things to see like if there is a routine from someone that you watch regularly or someone that you know in your personal life and someone that you feel like has a good balance of hobbies and see if any of their routines work for you. So like I said last November, I found that I was able to complete NaNoWriMo, not the full 50,000, but whatever I was going for, I think it was 25. I was able to hit that goal by doing just write-ins during weekdays. So usually around seven or eight o'clock at night in my time zone, someone that I knew would be going live and having a live stream and I would only work on writing during those live streams. And then on the weekends I was free to catch up on any reading or YouTubing things that I needed to do and I was able to do that. If you are someone who works like a regular nine to five job or goes to school or college, then that could be something that you might try. See if there is a way that like one thing works better when you have less time and one thing works better when you have more time in the day, if that makes sense. Um, there are definitely people out there who post videos about being able to balance hobbies and being able to handle more than one creative thing at a time. And I am not great at those things, obviously, uh, if not as a test to by uh, living the dream. One thing that I will mention that has helped or that would help more if I would actually follow through with the rules is uh, Sarah Cannon's HB90 course. And basically what her course is, is, you know, helping you figure out what to prioritize. And I think you can prioritize multiple hobbies, but you can't prioritize every part of that hobby, if that makes sense. So like for me, I can prioritize reading, writing, and YouTube, but I can't prioritize like everything that someone else would do on YouTube as far as like all of the videos that they do and having like a super active Patreon and a super active Instagram and a super active like behind the scenes thing. Like I can do YouTube but I can't do maybe everything that everyone else does with YouTube and I can focus and prioritize on reading but I'm probably not going to be able to run a readathon every month or read 300 books or read part be part of a bunch of book clubs and discussion groups and all of that you like reel that back and pick one or two things that you think are important and that you want to prioritize as part of that hobby and the same with writing prioritize one novel to work on instead of three or four or prioritize a specific day of the week or prioritize one thing that you want to work on and not prioritize everything that comes with being a writer. You know, maybe only have one person that you do critiques for or one person that you do beta reading for. Don't do it for 30 people. Prioritize a specific story or a specific part or pick the main priority of each hobby that you want to do and don't do everything that everyone else is doing. Because, you know, we have writer friends that write 
three or four books a year and publish three or four books a year and that's because all they focus on is writing and you have reader friends that read 300 books a year but that's because all they focus on is reading and you have people that have these super successful crazy YouTube channels but all they focus on is YouTube so you kind of have to pick and choose what's important out of each of those hobbies and focus on that thing and you're gonna have to let other things go and it sucks because like you want to do things you want to do all of the things that everyone else is doing where you feel like you need to do those things to be successful but that's not necessarily true so I think finding one or two things to prioritize out of each hobby is probably the best way to balance them am I great at practicing this advice no Am I trying to be better at it in 2022? That is my solid goal in 2022. Like that's my main goal of 2022 is to just be better at prioritizing priorities and not what I think are priorities. So maybe you can join me in that. Maybe you can join me in figuring out what to prioritize rather than just all of the things and going crazy and overexerting yourself. Because for some reason, trying to read 30 books a month and prioritizing writing three or four books and having YouTube videos four days a week and running a Patreon and running a three time a year write-a-thon and running two yearly read-a-thons and doing a <laughs> monthly author tube chat and trying to like have a real life and be friends with people and doing three different book clubs and for some reason I can't do all of that. I don't know why. <laughs> I need a break. I need a break. I, I need um... I, when I list out like all of the things that I do in a year my brain is like how the fuck girl like how the fuck. So I think maybe that might help you too. Like list out everything you did this year that was like a big project. List out like any any readathons you did, any writeathons you did, any uh, even if you're not like hosting them, if you just participated in them. Readathons, writeathons. I don't know what your other hobbies are, but any of your other hobbies, like maybe you like to crochet and maybe you made 43 blankets this year. I don't know. Like l make a list of like all of the shit you did this year and maybe like mark off the things that made you really happy or made you feel really fulfilled and then look at what you did because you felt like you had to or because someone else wanted you to and or because you felt like you needed to to be productive and that didn't actually end up helping you be productive like maybe look at that maybe look at what you've did in this year previous and break it down and then take that knowledge into next year because that's what I'm doing so it's crazy. I know. I'm sure there are those of you out there who look at like all of the shit I do all the time and you're like, wow, how does she do it? The answer is that I fucking don't. And because of this, I'm stressed to the max. But uh, <laughs> you can see it behind the crazy in my white girl eyes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pulling back in 2022. And I know that there are a lot of you out there who need to do that as well. So I hope that you join me in the pulling back in 2022. Like, let's all just take a breather. Like, let's just take a year to just like mosey. Just take some time, take a breather, pull back a little bit. Okay. So I hope that either A answers your question, Lucy, or at least helps you figure out the answer to the question. Um, because I, I honestly, I don't know. <laughs> We're all just figuring this shit out together, girl. I don't know. I don't know the answer to the question. If you have a tip for Lucy or for any of the rest of us who are trying to balance out our lives of crazy hobbies, leave them in the comments down below. I'm definitely going to go through and check them out, see if there's anything I think that can help myself out in 2022 um, while I finish trying to figure out what the heck I'm going to be doing for the year. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos a couple of times a week. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, including the remainder of Advent, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!